One of the things that I see, unfortunately, we work with a lot of companies that have gone through a breach, are in the middle of a breach, and have no idea. And one of the things they'll often say to me is, they'll say, Wes, I had no idea this was happening. Like, no clue. I went to work on Friday, hit the weekend, Sunday morning I start getting calls from my clients or people inside the org, they can't reach anything. I go into the office and there's ransomware everywhere. And we can't, we straight up can't operate. There's nothing we can do. Or another example, I thought everything was fine until my bookkeeper was reconciling and we're like $150,000 off. And we went to look and there was this very odd ACH or wire that went out. I have no idea who that company is. I have no idea what that account went out to. And I call my bank and they're gonna to try to reverse it, but they're telling me it's probably too late. Those are things that happen all the time. In organizations, I had no idea this was happening. I thought everything was fine, everything looked cool, it was smooth, and then boom, something hits, and it's a game changer. And so just to kind of put some data and statistics around this, because I told you I want you to think about it in terms of risk. So there's a lot of data that's out there that can help us measure what our, um, what our exposure is. And one of those things I think is a helpful thing for all of us, because I think you can all do it today, is let's even think about the cost of a breach from a data record perspective, a way for us to measure it. So IBM and Podemon do a study every single year, and they call it like this, the cost of a breach. And, and they measure for breached organizations, what did this thing look like, and how can we pull it into like one KPI? And that KPI they use is records. And so their new report just came out like a month ago, so it's brand new and fresh, and it's about $180 a record is the cost of a breach. So what's a record for you? A record if you're in healthcare, you know what a record is. Every patient record you have, not just patients, but every record you have with them. If you're a bank, every account that you have. If you're in, um, I don't know, some other like finance uh, or manufacturing, a record should be, I mean, you should know how to calculate your records. It's not just your customers. It's not just your clients, it's every individual piece of data that you have. And just multiply that by 180, that's a ballpark of what it would cost. But the challenge that I think organizations don't measure into that is the aftermath and the recovery challenges that go into this. So let me illustrate. When the breach happens, especially it's ransomware, like that's the big one that's always on the news that we're always concerned about. Ransomware happens, and you're making this decision, can we recover, can we not recover? One of the things that happens simultaneously with that is you're not operating. The average downtime with ransomware is about 16 days for a pretty good operationally mature company. It's about 16 days of outage. So just take not just the cost and the damage that might or might not have to be paid to the threat actor, which hopefully you don't have to pay that. You also have to calculate in damages of outages. So take your revenue, find out what your daily revenue is, multiply that by 16 if you feel like you're highly operationalized. There's your damages that you've got to work through. It's another way you can kind of think through that. But then we have to think about what about recovery time and restoration and company like, like reputation challenges. How many organizations that we've worked with that are going to say, we're moving on. Maybe it's not you specifically, but we just can't have that happen again, we're moving on. So these are things I see every day, and those are the challenges that we're really trying to build maturity against.